today I've got a classic book, Hello Fellow Plot Questers. It is I, Aaron the Plot Quester, and today I got this awesome book, The Last Leaf by O. Henry himself. And well, let's get right into it. So, I think everyone knows this story. The story of a young artist who is about to die and sees an ivy leaf outside, its leaves dying and fall and each of them falling one by one. And she says, I will die when the last leaf falls. However, when the old man, the old artist, old, the old drunk artist who didn't seem to really do anything, he went outside in the cold and in the rain and drew a beautiful leaf. And only after he died of pneumonia two days later did the two women realize that they, that she had beat her sick sickness just because of a drawn fake ivy leaf and that is a short story that i'm sure a lot of people know about and i think it's a very beautiful story but i want to talk about a sort of difference between the original writing and the writing that i read because i actually read this book in korean first around a year ago and now i read the original text in english and there's definitely a difference the biggest difference, I think, is the feeling I get. The Korean book, I was like, I should be sad, but I'm not really sad. But for this book, I read it and I was like, I was actually sad, even though it was cliched as heck. And it was probably the inventor of that cliche. It was beautiful and it really impressed me. The writing itself flowed really well and really naturally. And the short impact, like the entire thing is so short, but so impactful. And that really gave me a lot of like lessons. And also the way that um, the old man talks, the old artist, drunk artist talks. In the Korean book, it just said he is drunk. And then he talks pretty normally. But in the English version, like the author actually writes how how he sort of talks and he the way he talks Voss he cried is that people in their world meet the foolishness to die because leaves they drop off from a confounded vine I have not heard of such a thing no I will not boast a model for your fool hermit dunderhead why do you allow dot silly pussiness to come in the brain of a arch that dot poor little miss johnsy the way he talks is slobbering we can tell he's drunk you can tell the vibe that he's saying all these things he's drunk and he doesn't really know what's going on but at the same time he's fully aware of the situation and he takes action and we can tell he's going to take action from that tone of voice and I think that's really beautiful because that's just the power of writing and the different kinds of things. And I think this is a true classic. And if you haven't read it, it's like a 10 minute read. Go ahead and read it because it is just super, super inspiring and just in general, a really, really cool book. And like always, your plot quest or Aaron the plot quest, it is a great book and goodbye.